Yeah, sounds about right. Well, they pretty much. Well, in the lore, it says um, totals give birth to like a dozen a eggs. A dozen eggs, yeah. And then for the last few weeks of their life, until the total babies can walk in their own, the parents stay and raise them, and then they die. And then the baby turtles fend for themselves, eventually becoming... They pick up whatever weapons and tools their parents left behind and set out on their own. Yeah. We got some discussion to do, <laughs> it's by the way. a bit grim. Yeah, we got a discussion to have, but that can wait till we get to town. Turtles don't have their own pantheon of gods. Oh, that would have been cool, a whole turtle pantheon. Yeah. The Temple of Ugwe worship requires you to donate your portalness <laughs> to it. Alright, stream is up. You're good to start. They become uneasy when neither the moon or the sun is in the sky, as they believe that these watch over all creation. <laughs> Portals are awesome. Portals are... Well, that does make sense, seeing as they are amphibious to an extent. Now, see, see, you ruined it by saying what you were talking about. Can you imagine if that was just the first thing that the streamers hear? <laughs> like, the people watching the stream hear that, and they're like, what are these kids on about? And then we just drop the subject and move on. That would have been incredible. Well, it's fine. We'll just erase the stream anyway. and start again. Uh, <laughs> no. Did your parents died. I didn't even know oh, what was going on. Welcome so. to our game of D&D. You don't know what happened to my parents. Uh, I will. Are you sure, given the age of your character, that definitely dead? Um, hang, hang, on. hang on. Oh god, what the Sequoia, fuck is a decapus? Sequoia Hamilton, I will kill your friends and family to remind you of my love. Yikes. This is fucking terrifying. <laughs> when I told you to leave it alone. You chose not to leave it. Anyway, anyway, guys, guys welcome, welcome to tonight's episode of Around Beyond Normal. We're just discussing the lore of portals and how Immortel is pretty much an orphan. Most definitely. 100%. Not the kind of orphan like Harry Potter, the kind where his... The cooler kind. <laughs> where he, yeah. he actually met his family and then they died? So much cooler, guys. Everyone should look in the Discord chat for this thing I just found in the total book. It's kind of insane. Called the Decapus. I'm sorry, the Waterpus? Uh, like deck is in ten? Uh, maybe, probably. Yeah, ten, ten instead of eight, like octopus, <clears throat> deck up. Yeah. yeah. It hangs from trees by one tentacle and attacks with the other nine. Well, that's ten. Yeah. yeah. It's a great it looks enemy. wild. Thanks for spoiling my new enemy. Tim. No, you've never seen it before in your life. I've so seen it before. Anyway, last we left off, Amelia St. Clair showed the firm grasp of how to care for an egg. And much like Togepi in Pokemon, when it hatched, it imprinted itself onto Amelia. Our old pallet and Dracus. I love that you compared it to Togepi. That just makes me love Algae so much more. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, I did my research. Our dragonborn friend Dracus, upon seeing an actual dragon, had a minor temper tantrum and tried to kill the baby dragon. The wee baby dragon, whose name is... Algae. Algae. Algae, amazing. Little baby. And inside, inside the shed, shed Immortel, Molda, just a little nest for it. And Algae took a liking to not one, but two green emerald gems and is now guarding them with its life. And much like Smaug from The Hobbit, he wants a giant ass wall to sleep under. And it has begun. So, morning arises, 
you guys have any other business to attend to? You're aware that today's the day that you are supposed to be getting picked up. But... Ooh, can Dracus and Immortel roll me a history check, please? Love history checks, sir. Just to see if you guys heard what time they were going to be coming back. No clue. <laughs> Dirty again, 20. Again, I'm pretty sure that was Annie who got all the instructions. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Annie's the one who had it all. With, With your dirty 20, 20 Immortel, you, you remember that they would probably be back at about 4pm? Oh, so we got like the whole day. Okay. You're pretty sure the whole day, because it takes... Uh... I remember you did leave town at 9am and you got here at 4pm at night originally in session 1. So you guys have a 7 hour ride back. And... Yeah. What do you three wish to do with your day? <laughs> as, sorry, four of you now. As the three of you wake up in your little shed, you see Algy is looking relatively uncomfortable. Dracus sees this and leaves the house, the room. I was going to say, we all need to have a bit of a talk with Dracus about his feelings. <laughs> Dracus is not interested in having that conversation. Oh, Dracus, you got me to have this conversation sooner rather than later. DM to players. <laughs> um, what, why you notice Algy is Algy is being a little bit restless? He's not. Start. He's not restless per se. He's just abnormally cute. Trying to watch a. Not even day old dragon trying to sleep on its hoard and realizing that the two gems, which are both are about as big as its head at the moment, are not quite sitting under him properly. And it's kind of hilarious to watch as the baby dragon is trying to bounce like a cat on top of them and hide them under its body. And it is actually, um, can I get wrong with dexterity check using algae steps, please, Amelia? Yeah. Like a save or like a no, save? just a just a dexterity check to see, see if it's like. like Okay, so it'll be 11. 11, sweet. You notice know that the dragon sort of tries and nearly falls out of the little nest you've made for it a couple of times? But it seems to pick itself up and reposition itself and this goes on for a good 5-10 minutes before Dracus has stormed out of the shed. Okay. Dracus, did you slam the door on your way out? No, it's just left open. Everyone make con saving throws. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna, I was gonna say, Dracus, do a strength yeah, check. <laughs> well, he would know we're still in this dodgy ass town, full of evil. Not that evil, in all honesty, anymore. <clears throat> okay, Dracus, you are outside. The dewy morning greets you. Hmm. The smell of moisture in the air. A lot more present here. And you do a bit of a stretch here and there and crack your neck, your shoulders, your ankles and all that crap. And you, the day is yours. What do you wish to do? Um, Try and find some meat. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Dracus wants to go find some food or something. Bacon, find some bacon. <laughs> some okay. herbs or something. Some berries. Do you have proficiency in no. checks that rely on the sense of smell? 
Uh, just never mind. I can just flip that up. I don't think Dragonborn. Uh, I have no idea. I'll double check that quickly while I'm here. Like, I have proficiency in medicine. That's about all it is. No, survival or something like that. I get you to do a survival check. Okay, firstly, which way are you going? Um, I don't know. Like, where are we? Like, maybe around this area? Around the area? Yeah, sure. 19. 19, okay. okay. So. As you start to go around here, you find you find, up where find yeah. <laughs> you, you find a well. <gasps> well, 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 well. <laughs> you see that there is a couple of burnt down trees, and you find. You find that in this particular tree here, mm -hmm. and this little tree over here, my god if I could actually move up here, these are trees that there are some red berries, similar to the ones that you ate a few days ago. Are they edible berries? Oh, history check. Or a nature check. Uh, yeah. Choice. Uh, nature, I guess. Okay. That shit, either way. <laughs> 20. A natural 20, amazing. Um, as you start looking at the berries, you realize that these berries are edible. Mm -hmm. But you also realize that the ones that have started to turn color changing from a vibrant red to a more maroon crimson color red are not as edible and generally lead to food poisoning okay um i harvest both types of berries and <laughs> like have like okay one handful of possibly I'll get you to poison. Roll me a nature check, please. <laughs> What's this be a bad this roll? A... <laughs> no. Okay. okay. So, with, so your with your knowledge, knowledge you are able, able to harvest the berries. I'll, I'll get you to roll me a. D10, D10, please. D10. Yep. Two. So you managed to harvest... Hey, which berries were you after first? first? The good ones or the poisonous ones? Poisonous ones. So you pick up two of the poisonous ones. The other ones kind of... turned to mush because of your claws. And, and I'll get you to roll me a d10 for how many of the good berries you managed to salvage, like the edible ones. Okay. Cool. So in your left hand, you have two very well salvaged poisonous berries. And in your right hand, you have four of the lovely crimson berries. Cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with four berries. That's barely a meal. Look, you didn't roll that great. <laughs> we all make mistakes in the heat of passion, Jimbo. <laughs> in the heat of passion? It's really, really good. Even then, I feel like ten berries isn't a meal. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you, you want to go to tree number two? Sure. I assume you got them all from this tree. You got... got this tree, which is doo -doo -doo, a lot larger. Okay. I'm giving you rolls before. I'm gonna get you to roll me a d10 and add a d4 to it this time. Wait, is that a d6? Yeah, I'll accept it. 
I'll accept that. Six. Nice. So you get another six poison berries. Yep. And you manage to also block another twelve of the good, healthy, vibrantly coloured red berries. Yeah. So a somewhat successful harvest. Okay, of cool. the two trees. Uh, you also notice with your high roll from before that there is one of these little shrieky mushrooms over here. Can I go stab it? Yeah, well, I'm allowed it. Dracus has it. some pent-up rage he needs to deal with. Yep. Are you using your new axe? I sure am. Okay. I'll get you to come just a little bit closer. Oh, roll to hit me, please. Ah, uh, seven plus four is eleven. Eleven. That hits. Yep, and then go to roll damage with your new new hats. Yep. It's one d eight. Yep. <clears throat> plus four. Ten damage. Uh, can you now roll me a d10, please? Yep. Six. Nice. So, as you go to attack this shrinky mushroom, your... the purple crystals in your battle axe manage to start glowing. Ooh. And as you take that swing, you do your regular damage, and then... The gems give off this bright light at the point of impact, and you do extra damage that you didn't know you could do, which was what the D10 was just then. Yeah. And it was force damage. Nice. And after you swing, the axe goes back to its sort of glowing purple colour, and is sort of stagnant now. Yeah. Now the important question, did I kill it? You did. Oh, phew. It doesn't get to attack me. Alright, and with that, I guess I'll head back to the shed. Okay. Emilia and Immortel. And I guess Algie as well. Yeah. It's been about 10 minutes since Dracus has left the shed. What do you do with the 10 minutes? I um, will try to gather up as many fragments of the dragon egg as I can. Okay. So as you're going to gather the egg, it's broken in... Where's my little dice roll? Bloody... It's broken into about... So, so it's got, got a solid, solid bottom, bottom, and the little dragon sort of broke three very distinctive shards off of it. Mm -hmm. And it's not that hard to gather up. And yeah, you have a few dragon. You have a broken dragon egg in about four different pieces at the moment. Nice. Well, during my long rest, I swapped out mold earth for mending. So I would like to try and mend the egg back to a whole a whole egg. Well, the arrow okay. might explain it again. The arrow is trying to kill us off. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So you sit in the morning with the broken egg and. Are you going to draw me an archive and check, please? Mm -hmm. Since this is your first time actually trying to make a dragon egg. And yet, dirty 20. 
Jesus Christ, you got a plus six to your intelligence mod? God damn. I'm proficient in arcane, so. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> yeah, the egg looks as good as new. The cracks in it <clears throat> disappear <throat> as the runes on your shell line up again. And mm -hmm. that sort of same blue glow goes around onto the egg. And it is fully mended. You've mended a dragon shell. Well, a dragon egg. Nice. Amelia, what are you doing for 10 minutes? Well, I would probably check on those berries that I found, or that I had. Are they still good? Oh, oh yeah, the good berries? Yeah, um, they are alright still. They're only a nature check. Yeah, sure. Nature, nature, nature. what are you doing? <laughs> My ear holes hurt. It's been another weekly hour. I thought you were getting the microphone. Too busy working. Oh, she must be adjusting her microphone then. <clears throat> um, well, if Amelia is having technical difficulties, <laughs> I would also like to, um, finally look at the scroll I found in the Mimic House and see what that is. Okay. I'll quickly just check if Liara actually messaged the chat what she got for her Ruel. Oh god. So, yeah, so with the 17, Liara, you can tell... Sorry, Amelia. You can tell that your berries have about two more days before they go off. Yes, that is all good. Mm. And Immortel, your scroll. Mm-hmm. What languages can you read? I can read... Let me see... Common, Aquan, Dwarvish, and Abyssal. Amazing. And you open the scroll, and you can't quite read it. God damn it. <laughs> you notice that the writing is similar, has a few similar characters to Infernal. No, to Abyssal, sorry. But you can't quite is read it. Is it Infernal? <laughs> yes, it would be Infernal. <laughs> okay. Does anyone speak Infernal? Anyone? No. Um, <laughs> no, I only know Celestial. Damn it. Right, hang on. Oh. We'll have to uh, get someone else to have a look at it then. No. Okay. Oh, and um, to follow up on the good berry question, um, I would then like to take one out and feed Algae and give him his morning cuddle. What was that, sorry? I just want to feed algae. Oh. What about algae, sorry? I literally cut out for two seconds. Uh, oh. Feed, feed him a berry. Algae is a dragon. Mm. So he is more carnivorously inclined. Oh, okay, because he wanted the berry yesterday. But in desperation, he will accept berries for a while, but he will be... Okay, so he needs meat, is what you're saying. Yeah, growing up, he's going to need meat and stuff. Okay, sure. So seeing him sort of shy away from the berries, Amelia's going to be like, oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, you need a rabbit or something like that, don't you? Hmm. 
a rabbit would suffice, yes. Or a hobo. <laughs> you left one of those down with a black dragon. <clears throat> Annie was not a hobo. Annie was a murder hobo. <laughs> she did not murder anyone. <laughs> not for yeah, lack of trying. <laughs> a sociopath, okay? Tim Norton. Um, so yeah, uh, Amelia is probably going to walk over to Immortal and join him. Yeah. Dog. Should, should we talk to Dracus? Is he always like this? At this point, Dracus, you hear the, the heavy clad footsteps of um, Dracus in his heavy armor, like enter the doorway, and he kind of just looks at everyone and like... I'll just quickly whisper, yes, yes, he is. Oh, hi! <laughs> <laughs> like... You, looking at his face, you can't really tell what he's thinking. It just seems like he's got a plain face on. Um, and then Dracus will walk up and place the berries that he found on the table. Is there a table in there? I assume there is. Yeah, there is a desk that you found all of the um, ledgers on and the notebooks. Yeah. With the strangers or hell um, documentations. Yeah, so, so Dracus puts the 16 berries in a pile, then separates them into four, four lots of four, then grabs four, yeah. he kind of just mumbles something under his breath, eats them, and then walks back out. Ooh. <laughs> so, no, no description of what the berries are. are. <laughs> He's trying to poison us. <laughs> No, well, you, you would have just seen Dracus eat them, so presumably they're good berries. Can I just do a quick check to make sure the <laughs> berries are all the same colour? Uh, so um, just a quick glance. <laughs> when Dracus, okay. like, what I, I like, I put the, the the good berries there, but you can do that check if you'd like. Okay, well, no, it's fine. I'll just so you put the bright the red berries there, I guess. The, the, the edible delicious berries, yes. And okay. I ate I ate my share of four. Okay. Now I'm with you. Yeah. Whew. Roll me a con save. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, no, no. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, no, there is no, no save. No, 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 no. Dracus rolls a, uh, a, like a history check to see if he remembers which... <laughs> which one's look out? I'm not that mean, guys. He gets it muddled and then poisons you. Yeah, so Immortal, you and Amelia, you have seen Dracus put some berries on the desk, separate them into four piles of four, and stuff his face and walk out. And I'll just yell a thank you after him. Oh, should we try and see what you say? If you roll high enough. Yeah, okay, I'll do a mumble check. Yeah, mumble on. check? Oh, God. <laughs> I will find out for you guys now what a mumble check is. Give me, like, two seconds, because mumble, mumble check, check is not something I would expect to see if you're rolling. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get... You must tell to do a wisdom check. Wisdom what? Against my wisdom. Against, against my your quiet. charisma. Against my Wait, charisma. Is it, is it like perception or what? Or insight? Or what? Uh, I need to know because they're be... wildly different. <laughs> well, like a save. Yeah. I'm trying to see how this works. That's fine, a save this is will fine. be I'm a insight save. check for you, Immortal. An insight check, okay. Insight, and for you, Dracus, I need you to roll me a charisma check and just add your charisma modifier, please. Yeah. And that's the number you'll have to beat, Immortal. Okay, I'm just going to roll nine. Add an open for everyone. Yep. Nine. Beat a nine. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you heard exactly what I mumbled. You heard me say I'm sorry hey, about yesterday. What did you mumble? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
26. I literally couldn't have rolled high. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. Pretty good. So you've seen Dracus come into the room, separate the berries. And then apologize. Ah, oh, we love him. <laughs> and then apologize quickly <laughs> under his breath before walking back out. How do I do something reassuring that's not creepy? No, I guess it's fine. If you've already left, I'll just be like, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're right, Leo. All right. <laughs> no, <I'm> good. <laughs> A little bit of how you got your tongue. <laughs> Um, so, Dracus, what are you doing after you leave the room? Leave the shed? Mm, just waiting outside, really. Keeping an okay. eye out for any danger, I guess. Okay. Got it. Um, I'm going to roll me a purse. What's your passive perception? Um, how do you calculate that again? 8 plus proficiency plus your wisdom modifier. 11. Noted. Noted. <laughs> this is shit. Dude, this is a lower level area. You guys are way better now. Um, so, you don't really see anything much happening. You see where the little fungus mushrooms were around the area. You see the mine carts that mean touch that have rusted for a while. And yeah, nothing's really catching your eye at this moment. Immortel and Emilio. What are you two doing with out what are you two doing now that you have seen your friend Dracus separate the berries, eat a handful, air quotation <laughs> mumble under his breath that he is sorry. Only I know that. Yeah, only, only, yeah, only you might tell me. Yeah, hey, Amelia doesn't know that. Um, well, I don't know. I'm deciding if I want to mess with Dracus or not, to be honest. Like, just, <laughs> just personally. Because the door's still open, right? Dracus, did you shut the door behind you? No. It's still open. No, the door is still open. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I guess, I don't know. So well, we've got all day. Yeah, you guys have all day. Is there anything around here that you wanted to do? Anything you want to see? Um, I guess, I don't know. The world is your oyster. Um... I will. Hang on, just let me double check that it's not concentration. Um, I'll just start ritually casting detect magic. Yeah. So Emilia, while your friend Immortel is detecting for magic again, what do you want to be doing? <clears throat> holster with a strange device, walk out into the sun, and then aim and shoot the first bird that flies over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Walks straight out next to Dracus, <laughs> doesn't even look at him, just pulls out her sidearm, points it in the air, and just bang, shoots the first bird. Okay, I'll get you to roll me a... Tweet, tweet, a... So peaceful, <laughs> just flies over and you hit this... <laughs> <laughs> okay, just for the gets PDST this, and can I get you to roll me first off? <laughs> Attack a, um, perception check, check please. Perception, yeah. <laughs> just you can spot a bird flying above you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I'm 
Apparently my eyes are closed. Uh, that's a nine. Oh, okay. That's so you look looked up. You're slightly blinded. Blinded, blinded by, you need to roll by me the light. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> you need to roll me an attack roll with disadvantage. Okay. You're just kind of <laughs> looking up and shooting at this point. Oh. Five. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're gonna shoot Dracus. <laughs> Go on. So, what was the um, roll? Five. Oh, oh, a five, right? Well, what was the title roll? Twelve. <laughs> Well, <laughs> the arrow well, said that like three times. Come on, bro. I'm literally not hearing her on my end. Yes, I can. I'll fix that in a minute. So with a twelve, I can't believe you actually made over the fucking AC with a fucking five. <laughs> you hear this shotgun. You hear this like low, loud gunshot crack, and. Annie, I'll get you to roll me a dexterity check, check to just see if you, you like, do the awesomely cool just catch it as it's falling down above you. I didn't mean to roll. Yeah. I'll give advantage on this, you know what you're doing. You've shot things before. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, my screen froze for some quick bit. So, with one foul swoop, you've gone in the air slightly blinded by the sun, pointed your gun up, shot. Killed a bird, and then you manage to have it fall down, and before it falls down, you manage to, with your off hand, grab it by the neck, turn around, pivot on one foot, and start walking back into the shed. For a ludicrously successful hunt. Like, ludicrously successful. Amelia just like spins the gun in her hand and then blows the smoke off the barrel and holsters it and walks inside and starts defeathering the bird. <laughs> I'll get you to roll me a. Because <laughs> defeathering the bird is something I didn't think I would be doing today, in all honesty, keeping on my feet here. Probably doesn't need to be defeathered, you could just eat it whole. Yeah. That depends. So I'll get you to probably the size of uh what's his face though? Uh this is it might just unhinge its jaw like a, like an anaconda, you don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but given, given that, that the, the gems, gems are as large as its head. head. Yeah. I assume the bird was bigger than the gem, so It was a raven. Was you have shot a girl. raven? Oh that's bad. <laughs> Bad yeah. juju. <laughs> it was the first bird I could find. Bad juju. <laughs> I mean, it only has one hit point. Um, I'll get you to roll me a... Yeah, I'll get you to roll me a... Animal handling or medicine check I'll take animal with animal advantage. Because, you know, it's, it's dead, dead so it can't really resist. To defeather the bird. Holy shit, boys. 23. 20. Amazing. You perfectly get all the feathers out of this raven. And Dracus, if you look back towards the shed, you see a few feathers just sort of flying out. From behind Amelia, <laughs> as she's been walking and started plucking all the feathers out of this dead bird. With a relatively surprising slash alarming butchery skill. <laughs> Amelia obviously knows what she's doing. Amelia, you have clearly defeathered birds in your home plane. <laughs> In your home realm. <laughs> and you... Further than all this role, you managed to... Do you have a dagger or anything? Uh, that's a good question.
fashion it did have a short sword and henna yeah i have a short sword two yeah short you got a sword that's fine two, two you, you managed to, to have a mess kit in my explorer's back yeah, yeah you got a knife which yeah you managed to uh, yeah. cut the head off of the bird butterfly it get the breasts the thighs the leg the wings all prepared relatively successfully and relatively easily too and you sort of cut chunks <clears throat> now how, how long were you wanting this bird to last like for the day for a couple meals kind of thing planning to like share it out oh, oh yeah, yeah. You know, perfect you know, you know like uh like sort of like whole spit roasting it on the fire and then just breaking bits off and giving it to people uh, uh yep, yep 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 um run me an animal handling check that's easy with advantage because little wee dragon has imprinted on you already Um, <laughs> yeah, thank God for advantage is right. 23. 20, amazing. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> you have a relatively easy time <clears throat> making the, um, goddamn, uh, of getting algae to eat a few chunks of the bird can you get algae to roll me also a um a wisdom check please to eat chicken to see if it keeps eating the chicken or if it attempts to bite your fingers it hasn't be fed before. It's brand new. It might try and eat your finger. I don't know. What am I doing? You're going to get eaten by the dragon. What What role am I making? Sorry. Brandon? Okay, yes, I'll what? Just, I'll just roll the dice. She's asking you questions. <laughs> I'm honestly not hearing any What of role is she making? Uh, just a straight wisdom. Straight wisdom. Straight Okay. For the dragon. Uh, yeah, for the wee baby dragon. Oh, the dragon stat. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, for the dragon. I believe it was a plus two. Well, it does have a plus two, so that's a plus. Yeah. So that oh, was no, a... No, 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 sorry, that was its intellect is plus two. Its wisdom is zero. Ooh. How much was it, sorry? Zero. It's zero. zero. Yeah. It has no in wisdom bonus. Yeah. Oh. It's got a yeah. plus okay. two to the int. Yeah. Nothing. So the dragon mistakes, mistakes your finger as part of the chicken, chicken. but with your amazingly high roll for animal handling, you manage to move your fingers out of the way, and the dragon keeps munching on the chicken. Sorry, the raven. <laughs> Other chicken. <laughs> huh? Give me a sec, guys. Go check. <laughs> Maybe turn Amelia up. I mean. Hmm? Okay. They are talk to me quickly. I'm talking. Rah. That's better. I can hear you now. <laughs> no, it was, it was, I was like hearing every other second word before, in all honesty. <clears throat> they do that again, or just because I'm losing one of you guys. Um, but yeah, you've all eaten for the morning, it's been about an hour or so. Score. Yeah, you all leveled up as well, after Come again. escaping the dragon from last session. I'm pretty sure no, we're leveled you guys, up for you guys are all level four. Okay. Leveled up for eating the chicken. <laughs> yeah, I want my extra attack. 
I want my third level spells. Fireball. Fireball. <laughs> Fireball. Yeah, let's go. We leveled up. <laughs> I shot a Okay. Got more so. Oh, also, <laughs> with your detect magic as well, while well, it is on the back of my head, Immortal? Well, I wasn't expecting to waste it sitting around having an hour's chicken dinner, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's been about an hour after all this. I'm referring back to your thing now. <laughs> um, you notice that the gems that you found uh, in Amelia's bag radiate some of the same magic as the gems you pulled out of the mine mm. and the same as what was in Dracus's axe and you also notice there is a transmutative aura on the ledger book that you were going through yesterday night. Spooky. Anyway, it's been about an hour. And you guys have eaten. Well, again. John O has. I wasn't going to sit around for the hour, but that's fine. What time did you say you What else are you doing then? Well, after my ritual is up. I was going to get up and go outside to join Drakkers. Oh, yeah, go for it. But I was going to do it hilariously. Not hilariously. But I was going to try and be stealthy, but at the same time cast Mage Hand and try and, like, freak him out by, like, I don't know, like, touching his neck or something random. Go for it. I'll allow it. I don't know what to do. I don't roll for any of that. <laughs> Except that maybe stealth. Oh, can you throw me a slide of hand check for the mage hand that's not good i don't know just because he's out there on watch i'm just gonna mess with him yeah i know what you gotta be huh. 13. perfect um dracus yes while you're out on your look around you feel a little cold finger like run down the nape of your neck and it makes you jump and makes you more alert than before um Dracus pulls and out you know, his sword and I mean not sword axe and shield and you know then I'll just want to be like standing next to him saying hey do you want to go like I don't know, look around <laughs> just super casually <laughs> I can't lock into like the middle of the square it keeps getting me like Oh, give me a sec. I think I had it set to edges from when I was map making. Okay, it should be on center now. That's not it. Why am I thinking that? Oh. I know what it is. We're too big. Yeah, you guys are. We big. ate too many berries and now we're fat. You say that, but I'm still not sitting in the center. I've centered you guys now. Uh, I think the grid might be slightly off skewer. Yeah, because I made you slightly big before. There you go. No, okay. I'll... Anyway, it's I'm also just... because the hitbox of um, Drax's sword that he's pulled out is probably stopping you from going to that square immediately. Well, no, because I don't sit in the center of my square anyway. It just doesn't. It's just not letting me even try. Uh, probably because my grid's slightly off as well, because I had to temper with it before to make this map. Oh, Nick, anyway, all of that aside, I'll just be like so. Want to, uh, I don't know, adventure. <laughs> We've got all day. Yeah. And you probably don't want to hang out with the dragon all day. Uh, Amelia, are you and Algie heading out as well? They weren't invited. I've made sure that Algi has like eaten his fill. I will probably attempt to look around the room um, to try and find some sort of like I don't know, bit of cloth or something I can wrap his sword up for him to carry it. Hello. Does that make sense? Are you not hearing me, Ara? No, I actually turned off my internet. So can you please repeat that for me, Liara? Sorry. Um, okay. 
<laughs> I said... <laughs> Much better. I fixed it. I said, can I have a look around the room to see if it's yeah. like other bag or like satchel or even just cloth that I could like wrap up his um, algae little hoard? Just so yeah. that it's separate from the rest of the gems in the backpack. Because I don't want him thinking that he can keep all of them because I intend to sell them. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, you do find that yeah. looking around for a little bit after your tidying up from yesterday, mm. that there is a few, like, not bags per se, but more like pouches, like for coins and stuff and taking money and giving money to people, yada yada. So they're not like big bags, sort of like... A purse sort of size thingy. <laughs> yeah, like a pouch is the word I'll use. Pouch. But big enough for you to put like a good fistful of money in. Okay, cool. So I go up to Al K. Get in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> no. Who's getting in the bag? is your hoard pouch. I'm going to take the gems and put them in here and then sit them on top of my backpack and then you can sit on my shoulder and keep an eye on it, okay? Okay. The algae nods a little bit and... Shit, he speaks common? <laughs> Dragons all speak common. It's a day old though. <laughs> It gives you, like, a nod of recognition that you're talking to it. Yeah. And feeling safe around you, it... Oh, this is going to be hilarious. I'll, I'll hold around. out my left arm to let him, like, to yeah. force him to crawl up so that he'll leave the gems. Okay. And wrap them up and put them on, on top no of No rolls for this. You watch as the... We baby dragon. Um, doesn't really climb onto your arm right away and sort of bites down onto one of its two gems and picks up in its mouth and is kind of trying to get its claw around the other one and eventually hooks its claw I'll, around the second gem. I'll, I'll, I'll... So, like, I'm holding my left arm out to, like, get him to climb on. With my right hand, I'll just put my, like, open palm in front of him and say... Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll keep it safe. Since the dragon likes you, does I'm not going to make you roll for this. It eventually, like, climbs onto you and climbs into the little satchel and sort of... Have you seen those pictures of those field mice that sleep in flowers? Yeah. You just sort of wrap itself up in the satchel like that? Yeah, it wraps itself up and sort of nuzzles itself into the bag. And you pull the bag shut. Not fully. Uh, enough for a good airflow to come in, and you attach it onto your belt on your side. Okay, yeah. Double check that it's all fastened up and it's not at risk of coming loose. And yeah, you now have a little dragon on your side that is hidden in plain sight, for lack of a better phrase. Join the others, Algie. And then Amelia will walk out and join Dracon. So we're all reunited oh. outside. Hooray! Hooray! Yes. Dracus takes a couple of steps away from Amelia. <laughs> wow. Right. 
the level of disrespect. Dracus, I mean no offense, but I simply don't understand what your issue with Algi is. Dracus kind of just sighs and he's like, someone from an alternate dimension or wherever you're from would never understand. And like he kind of just grimaces menacingly, menacingly for a moment before turning away. Okay. Would you care to enlighten me? It's not my fault I'm not aware of your customs. Educate me. Open a dialogue. <laughs> Talk about <laughs> healing. <laughs> Dracus turns slowly and he's like, Dragons are dangerous. And more often than not, they're evil. So I'm sure you can understand how wary I'm being. Alki's only a day old. Maybe we can change that. You're welcome to try. And when it I'm fails, from... I'll be there to stop him. Where I'm from, people are given a chance before they're given a verdict. The old innocent until proven guilty? Ha. Pathetic in my eyes. Well, it's not old where I come from. It's a just and fair form of trial. Perhaps your culture here will see that someday, in the future. Perhaps. And he turns, puts his hand on his axe, and he's like, I'd, I'd like to see you prove me wrong. And when you fail to do so, I'll be there to stop him. Or her. I don't know what gender the dragon is. However it chooses to identify. <laughs> I, to identify. I think Algi hasn't decided on pronouns, but we're going with he for the moment. <laughs> Very well. Yeah. Uh, you could so just lift it up and have a look. <laughs> no, that's weird. It's a bit um, invasive. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very progressive anyway, gaming anyway, channel here. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> very clear of that. Uh, Amelia continues. Well, until that day comes, can we at least cease the hostilities? It's going to make it awfully difficult to cooperate in the future. Just keep five feet away from me and I'll be okay. Very well. Thank you. With oh. a <laughs> sense of... That was beautiful, guys. <laughs> Immortal's just crying. He's like, oh my god, we gotta break through. <laughs> With a break. sense of hostility still, still lingering in the air. You see the feathers on the ground that had been perfectly plucked by Amelia before. And the three of you look around. The town seeming a lot less scary. The entry to the mine still there. Dracus knowing about the well. And the other building next to it from his morning venture the well did you even look well, at well well <laughs> <laughs> yeah did you even look at it or did you just go berry hunting <laughs> I didn't know he, he had just gone berry hunting dm points out super secret well player ignores to go berry hunting <laughs> It's actually it's not even a secret. secret. It's, it's like, like wide open, open in the map. map. Super secret hidden well. Ah. I mean, the, the most obvious super, super secret, secret thing is the shed I had next to it that's like hidden behind trees. trees. Or the, the chest, chest that, that was behind a mimic. mimic. That, that was super, super secret. secret. Like way over here. It also 
it also had algae where we found yeah. yeah yeah so anyway when's this this ride of yours showing up immortal like another six to seven hours six seven oh. yeah i don't know why they choose to come at 4 p.m it's a very odd schedule but um we'll, we'll be traveling back to town by nightfall then yeah which seems a bit also dodgy how safe are the roads? Um, we traveled in daylight last time and we weren't attacked, so that's really all I have to go on. <laughs> Dracus taps his shield and he's like, the roads are as safe as I allow them to be. All right. I'll get yeah, the two of you to roll, roll a history check. Who's the two of us? I'm already rolling, so okay. I see. Immortal and Dracus. <gasps> two that would actually Hooray! Natural 20, 25. Yeah, right? Yeah, and it's a 26 again. Damn. I'm so smart. Yeah, so you guys came along a very well traveled road before cutting off to a slightly less traveled road in recent times, slightly overgrown. And, and that's, that's the reason your travel, travel was slowed for a little bit, because it was just a bit more difficult to navigate okay. through that area. Okay. And you, you Immortal, get a ping in your head. It's a message from Kai Helm Blackthorn. Well, invasive, but sure. Um, hey guys, guys just, just checking up on you, making, making sure you're okay. okay. Um, the, the caravan is on its way to come grab you. you. It left about an hour ago. Oh, god, so yeah, it's still six hours. Ago. And yeah, feel free to respond to the message. Don't respond. Not even just to say, yeah, we got the stuff, we'll see you soon. Is that what you say? Well, I feel like whatever I say next will be message. So I will say, um, all good. We will be here for pickup when it arrives. Smiley face. Super secret emoji message chat yeah and it's a couple more minutes before you get a response saying sweet look forward to hearing about what happened mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you're still in nevermore Annie you sorry Amelia you know a little bit about what's over here. If I can click somewhere. Uh, Dracus, you got a little bit of knowledge about what's over here, as well as the general area of the town. Well, circling back to ages ago, when I did put Detect Magic on and walked out to ask Dracus if he wanted to adventure, I did want to have a quick stroll around and see everything, if anything pinged. Yeah. Yes. Not so wait for the... Amelia to feed the dragon and tidy up and pack up and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think that. So when you did your detect magic, I cleaned back a bit. Before it like went away and I had to yeah. sit down and cast it again and again. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> because it is um, ten minutes every time. <laughs> yeah. But how long does it last for? Three. A minute? Ten minutes. Oh yeah, within ten minutes, you've easily found the transmutative. Yeah, I know all the stuff in there. On the book, as you've gone outside, you've still got the same magic radiating from Dracus's axe as before. Mm -hmm. You notice a very, very strong. Abjuration sort of magic, uh, radiating from the top of the mine shaft entrance. 
the top of it. Yeah, where this giant ass crystal would be. Ding, ding. Oh, no, I can't see that. It blended in perfectly. <laughs> oh, then do my job. And you also. See the same pings as before from. You see another ping somewhere around here. Of a similar magic to the key that is in your bag. The key we will never use. Amazing. The key of knock knock, who's there? Pretty much. <coughs> Um, well, anyway, to see that, I would have had to be, like, way over here. It's only got a 30-foot thing. I'm assuming that you went for, like, a walk up. Yeah, obviously. Like, taking draft. She went for, like, a walk, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. like, around everywhere? Is what I'm assuming yes, happened? Just casually walking around. I guess in silence. That's fine. Do you want to talk to her <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> Small talk. Small talk. <laughs> Jack is, the, Jack is the weather's smoke. crazy today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn weather. It's gonna rain I this afternoon. Well, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, well. Car well, gets well. And you saw a well. Oh my god, what a day. What oh, Gracchus asks Immortel if he knows anything about making poisons. And he shows here Ooh. the berries that I poisonous. Um, the. Food poisonous. Personally, no, no idea. Damn it. <laughs> I'm sure we could find someone back at the guild hall. Hmm. They seemed like a learned folk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait, was Amelia coming with us or? This, this was on your. Well, this walk was all while she was feeding the dragon. Yeah, feeding oh, okay. The dragon. Yeah, technically I'm still inside the, the house. Yeah. So, we're all caught up now and everything? Yeah, and I guess then I'll say, oh my god, guys, there was some magic over here. I was so enveloped by the weather, I couldn't speak about it before. Yep. yep. That sounds good. So, as you guys wander around in the daylight... Is that Scarecrow buddy still here? Uh, no, he has long since disappeared. Oh my god, it's magical. That scarecrow just disappeared right in front of me. I forgot to delete him last time when I deleted that mimic, okay? Nah, it's all good. Okay, so, so what is it you wanted us to look at, Immortal? I don't really know, because I can't see it at the moment, but there was something mystical in and or around this charred building. Dracus kind of just turns around and he's like, you're pretty mystical. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Amelia, as oh, stop. As you walk with the hook, is just going to walk straight past and start doing a lap of the building. <laughs> Well, obviously you'll okay. go with. Are you going past the cart, the baggie? Yeah, she's just sort of scoping the burnt building out before she walks inside a potential death trap. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll yeah. kind of head over here and try and peer in from there. Yeah, so I'm assuming that Amelia has ended up over around here somewhere. Or she just like sprinted behind the building. <laughs> I'm assuming she's going around the perimeter. Correct me if I'm wrong, that's where you were trying to end up, yeah? Yes? Yes. Yeah, was, I'm assuming you were trying to end up... Did you where immediately want to sprint you behind the building? Oh, no, 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 I'm just sort of slowly, as you guys go that way, I'm slowly walking down this ah. way. Okay, okay. My way around, going all the way around the building, scoping it out. So... I'm just pulling you over here, so it's like somewhere you yeah, can yeah. So you're about here-ish. Yeah, just... You haven't just seen like, anything yeah. out of the ordinary? Just yeah. that this building has been charred? Mm -hmm. Um... 
I'll get you to roll me a perception check as you do see a somewhat open door here. Uh, perception for this wee dory over here. As it's opened away from you, it's opened towards you. <laughs> Man, I can't roll today. That's a ten. That's more than enough. Okay. So you see that this door has... some dry bloody handprints on its handle that have pulled it outward. Bloody handprints. Dried it out bloody handprints. And you, Dracus and Immortel, um, can you guys drag me to which where you guys are walking? Were you guys just going to either side of the barnyard doors? Yep. And peer in? Oh, uh, yeah, I was just going to peer right in. Yeah, I'll get you both to roll me a perception check, please. Boop. Um, perception. Fourteen. Thirteen. Okay, so with the two of you combined, you look inside and you see that there are a couple of dead horse carcasses. Like, skeletal? Or like, actual... You see that there are a couple skeletal, and there is... one that is a bit more fresh, on the verge of... rotted, and... The three of you start to... Taken the odor of the barn itself, and it's more grotesque smell with the smell of rotting flesh, maggots, blowflies inside of it as a slight breeze moves through the rafters. Get your face out of that chest. <laughs> I need to hide these chests from you people next time. I'll just delete them and then they'll reappear. I wonder if there's a toggle. Is there a toggle to make this place can't fucking look at it? <laughs> What are you even put in here anyway? Oh uh, yeah. Shit for when you guys first came here. Uh, so after smelling that stuff, are you guys rolling constitution saving throws or? <laughs> no, you aren't rolling constitution saving throws. My yet. question will be to Dracus, I guess, because he's the only one standing next to me. Do we reckon these are, like, wild horses? Because this place has been abandoned for decades, hasn't a it? Abandoned. Like, where is... Abandoned, yeah, that's the word I said. <laughs> abandoned. Like, where are the horses coming from? It's quite curious. Doesn't make logical sense in the retrospects. Like, if something's hunting it and this is its, like, nest. Yeah, that might make a bit of sense. And as Dracus is saying that, he's, like, putting his hand on his axe, ready to pull it out at a moment's notice. Yep. And takes a couple of steps towards Immortel. Okay. Um... Amelia, what are you doing? She's already dead. Oh my god. Uh, 
the DM has. I'm just continuing around the back, like I said. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, just sort Slip. of slowly. Slowly? Okay, I'm gonna pull you along. As I have quickly. I know where the stump So, as you come around past the black stump, you see a pile of logs and a small chest just next to them, uh, of which appears to be locked. Amelia just sort of like rubs her hands together, like to warm them up in the cold morning air. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if these magic hands can do the trick again. Okay. Roll me a slide of hands. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, Ooh! And plus three, twenty-one. What's it with you and getting 21s to open every single bloody chest? No, I'm not even playing a rogue, it's awesome. Ugh. Yeah, so... You open the chest, and you can look inside and see what you get. You find a key, a net, a club, and a crossbow. Handheld crossbow. Like a single hand. Oh, fuck yeah. I'll take that. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Cool. Do I just search it? Oh, it's got the card in the chest. So I'll grab this stuff. And then I'll, I'll sing out loudly so the guys can hear me from the other side. Hey, I think I found some stuff back here. Awesome. And then I'll start walking towards, um, back, like completing the lap all the way back to the front and hold out the stuff that I found, um, in front of Immortal to be like, is any of this stuff what you saw? Oh god, I can't get you to like sit. Well, that. My dear Amelia, it's a 10 minute long question. <laughs> Jack is kind of just walks over here and sits down because he knows it's going to be a long 10 minutes. <laughs> well, you guys can go and investigate the horse carcasses and their origins. Everyone loves doing that. It's kind of gross. No thanks. I just want to know where they're coming from. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, I'll just get Amelia to, uh, this. Yes. Oh, I'm just trying to think. I guess I could identify them properly on the carriage ride back. Yeah, you can do that. Otherwise, it's going to quickly become a half an hour. <laughs> Alright, Jackus is going to investigate the carcasses. I mean, not that we have anything else to do. <laughs> So, are you identifying them? Well, yeah, do, well, I'll tell Amelia to put whatever she wants to on the table in front of me. And yeah, I'll just start identifying them one at a time, I guess. Yeah, so, as you start to identify everything, you find that the crossbow also has a hole similar to what was found in Dracus's axe. Wait, is it like crystally as well? Does it look look like yes? So I wouldn't waste time identifying that then. I would be like, this is probably the same. Yeah, it's you look over it and it's more crystalline in appearance. You find a second key of knock. Woo. Yeah, I thought it'd be cool to make a key that could do that stuff. It was supposed to be for the dragon chest, and then you 
like blew me away with the bloody rolls in all honesty. Well, that just means there's a bunch of magical locks coming, so. Yeah, apparently. Yes, there is. It's got like a, a history of picking locks. <laughs> to be yeah. fair, she is actually trained with these tools, so. Yeah. yeah. So, and Tinkerer's tools as well. Yeah. And the net, you find nothing mysterious about it. It's just a generically old net. And the club, like a dwarven style club, nothing too fancy to write home about. And. Dracus, as you go inside, are you going inside the barn? Yes. So as you go inside, you cautiously enter, the smell hits you, mm -hmm. and you see that there are about four sort of skeleton, skeletal remains of horses, mm -hmm. and there is one relatively fresh one. The one I told you about that was making all the smell, that's about a week and a half old. Gross. Yeah. Uh, can I investigate how it died? Yes. Draw me an investigation check. Ten. Ugh. Eleven? No, ten. Ten. Six, eight. Um, you can see that there are a number of claw marks on it. Relatively similar to the ones you saw in the Mimic House. Hmm. But with a 10, you can't quite discern if those are the main cause of death or if something else had been involved in this process. Um, okay. When we were in the Mimic house, was there like wolves or something? Was that that got eaten by the Mimic? Is that... You honestly don't know as you had not finished exploring the entirety of the house. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was out of game. He said that there was like a werewolf or something in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So Dracus... out of game, there was something else in the house. Yeah. But you guys didn't quite manage to get that door open because no one could roll above a 10 that night, apparently. <laughs> and Dracus has no clue what's caused this then. Uh, these, yeah, he, he Dracus exactly. walks out and he's like, those horses clearly committed suicide. That's all I know. Oh, um, Amelia walking past this trough sees the yeah. rapier that's still stuck in the ground from where, um... Yes, the rapier is still stuck in the ground. And she's like, huh, and pulls it out and starts playing with it. Okay. You start, you start playing around with the rapier, and it you take to it relatively easily. Just a standard rapier. Uh, the tip of it is a little bit rusty, having been buried in the ground. For a few days. Apart from that, there's nothing too special to write about. It's about this time that Immortel has finished his rituals. And the three of you regroup around the table. I'll uh, slip the rapier into my belt. <laughs> Do you yep. have room for any more weapons? Jesus. <laughs> I know, right? I, I've never, like, I've never played like a vanilla, like you know, sort of like fighter, just martial class. And I've got, I've got a handgun, a hand crossbow, 
two short swords, two hand axes, and a rapier now. I feel oh, like it's... there's also this crystal crossbow up for grabs. <laughs> the one you found. Oh, is that is that one? Is that the one you've already got? Yeah, I thought that was the one I found. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was the one you found. Which Amelia intends to keep, given that her pistol will draw a lot of attention. That's fine, because I was planning on keeping the key, so you can have the bow. <laughs> and you guys just leaving the club and the net around? Um, no, might as well take them. We can probably sell them for a few silver or something. <laughs> I'm holding on to them. I'm just keeping all of the weapons. <laughs> so, Drac There will come a day when I need to <laughs> use Amelia all of these. Amelia takes the rope out of her backpack and just starts fastening stuff to her backpack. <laughs> okay, Amelia is a hoarder. Good to know. Dracus sees Immortel holding another key um, of Nock. And he's... No, there's nothing special about this key. You don't know. Uh, oh, okay, <laughs> never mind then. No, never you mind. You see him then. holding this key similar to the one he and had. And you watch him swallow it. <laughs> I will make you roll no. constitution no, checks. I don't. <laughs> yeah, he just like spits on it and he's like, haha, it's mine now. <laughs> Great. He licked it. I just withdraw it into the shell and I'm like, no. <laughs> I licked it there for it's mine. Now, you know how girls put things down their shirts? Yeah, you just do that, except it's inside your shell. Yeah, it's just in my shell. Yeah. Yep. Nice and safe next to the other Okay, well that was a good half an hour. Just six and a half to go, everyone. Let's, I guess, just lay on the floor and look up at the sky for a while. I have a deck of cards. Is there anything else you guys? Oh, we, did we want to look in the well? Did did, did him all tell um, when he was like identifying that stuff? Did he tell everyone about them? About what? Like everything you had identified well, or whatever. Well, I was identified, if anyone was listening, but I think you guys are looking at horse carcasses, which is gross. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing with the rapier. Um, and well, fastening all your weapons. Well, I mean, I can happily tell you that that's a crystal crossbow that you can whack crystals into, and this is a nondescript key you don't need to worry about, and there's a regular net and a club. Have you got a crystal I could whack into this? <laughs> yes, no. Dracus kind of, kind of like just, just waves sure around his, his axe and he's like, no. Pretty sure Annie criticized me for stopping to rip crystals out of the wall and now look at where we are. Doesn't stop us going back in to get some, does it? That's, oh, that's true. There was that giant one on top of the thing as well. We could just... This one over here. On top of the mine shark entrance. I don't know where it's blending in. It'll click on the gems behind. We could just go and hack some of that off. I think that's a good idea. Try yep. la la la. <laughs> skip. Do you have a pickaxe? <laughs> no, last time I just used my claws. Just your brute strength. Yeah. Which turtles have, so, you know. <laughs> turtles do have a surprisingly large amount of brute strength. I mean, some might, I don't. But... I thought they had constitution and wisdom. No, turtles get. No, they have turtles get a and wisdom. Yeah, no, they get con and strength. I think. Oh wow. They get a weird ass set of skills, okay? <laughs> and armor and glasses. Yeah, and they can hold their breath for an hour. It's just like. They're totally it's like a warforged. Fast, yeah. Well, they don't have dark vision, guys. It's a real drawback. Unless you're a shadow sorcerer. Exactly. There's plenty of ways to get around. Oh, we've got those stupid goggles, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have. Mm -hmm. That we definitely attuned to while we were on our long rest. I don't think we can. I think you don't we... need to attune to them. It's oh, that's like... good because I was gonna say I think we're getting up there with magical items. Yeah, that's getting quite up there with magical items. Turtles get a plus two to strength and a plus one to wisdom. Oh, that's correct. Strength and wisdom. I don't think I have any magical items. Ah, oh, you nerd. Uh, Unless not at the moment. <laughs> You've got you know, that dragon on your shoulder. That's cool. You have a pet dragon. 
I do. It's in a little pouch. But it's um, a yeah. achievement and not, not breaking any barriers. Or... Yeah. So as you guys start wandering up to the mine shaft entrance, you, Immortal, can point out where this jade green crystal. It's that big green rock on you know the top there. Do you, Immortal? Do you know what kind of magic these crystals hold? Um, no. When I looked uh, at it earlier, it said abjuration, abjuration, which I don't. Really know what, does what that, that mean? Would project abjuration's protection magic, mm. shields, and etc. And what were the other crystals you saw downstairs? Um, there's a purple necrotic one, a light blue cold one. There's the dark blue force one, and a bunch of other colors that I wasn't allowed to touch because no, we were in such no, a dark, dark blue was electric. Was lightning. I it's thought a bright purple one that Johnny has. Oh, before. different shades of purple. Okay, well, there's a light and a dark of each color. Lots. There's lots of colors down there, Amelia. Am I loading up the mind map? Oh, I'm totally attuned to those gloves of Spider Climb. I knew there was something else. Yes. No, it was the necklace of spider climb. Yes, the necklace of spider climb. Yeah, you're thinking of a different game. You're thinking of a different <laughs> lifetime. Yeah. Well, I was like, I feel like I can only attune to one more thing before I'm at my limit. Okay, so... Yeah, because you can only attune to like three items. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so... Sh do we just go down and... Well, we might as well take a chunk of this one. The abjuration one. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. How are we going to go about getting up on top of that? Thing? It's like the aforementioned spider climb necklace is how I'm doing it. Okay, I'll say spider climb necklace. We go. It's like wait up, I got this. Can I what? Wait. It's like wait up, I got this. Before you go up. Uh, take my rope and tie it to something up there so we can all climb up. Okay. I'm good at tying stuff. Yeah. I do that. I tie it on whatever I can see. Uh, the only thing up top you can really tie it to would be the crystal itself. Wow. You know what? Well, that can work. I can just tie it to that and you guys can just heave. You just want a chunk entire thing well then don't give me the rope actually no give me the rope but also give me like one of your tiny pickaxes as well your hand axes and, yeah yeah and i'll just hack away at a bit and then you guys just pull it loose i don't know okay sure that is the plan that we enact now okay so as you start to hack away Mm -hmm. You, um, I'll get you to roll me a dexterity check. Right, I'm going to fail that. To see how good you are at cutting this crystal. I'll give you advantage because you have cut crystals off before. But a 10 was perfectly average. Oh, well, a 70. <laughs> a lot better. Yeah. yeah. So you find that you get a relatively good chunk of this crystal. About two palm sizes full of crystal. You need two hands to hold it. It's a nice big chunk. And it's not... There's no major impurities in it, just a nick from where you had done the pickaxing into the gem. Cool. Wait, did you say this was a dark green or a light green? A dark green. Okay. 
Adoration Cool. Okay, well, um, yeah, I guess I'll climb back down. Am I loading up the mind map, guys? Um, I will, wait, so, yeah, I'll give the chunk to Amelia and say, I guess, try this. I don't, I don't really know what it's going to do. <laughs> Uh, you remember that for something to suck it properly into a weapon, it had to be flawlessly cut? So right now you've got the raw material. Oh. You'll have to see someone to mould it and shape it. Oh, so I was lucky with the one that I had then. You were incredibly lucky with the one you had. Yeah, right. Tree is out of place. Am I loading up the mind map? Well, how long do we have? So, wait, before, uh, when Immortal explains that we'll have to get it properly cut at a jewelry, um, yep. we'll have to piece the chunk down, um, Amelia's gonna rummage through her backpack and grab out one of the finely cut gems from, yeah. the, from the chest and see if one of those will slot into place. Yeah, which gem are you going for with the ones that are next to you? Uh, probably a red one. A red one? Okay. You find a... You're almost sure when you find this orange amber colour and you see there is a circular gem, like a sphere. And you socket it into you sort of with a weird amount of finesse to it managed to put the gem into the little socket which is just under where the array will come out where the array head is and you see that the crystal shaft of the body starts to glow orange as well. Mm. Okay, Amelia, was there bolts for the crossbow in the chest as well? There was not, it was just the bow. Ah. Damn, I'll have to buy some bolts. <laughs> I wanted to test it. That's frustrating. I mean, you could just fashion a stick in there. Okay, Amelia will walk over to the nearest, like, low-lying bush of walking. Yeah, the one, like, right next to you. Yeah, and then, yep. um, like, snap a twig off and start sharpening it with a knife. Yep. Well, say it takes a couple minutes. You're very yep. good with your hands. Yep. You know it. And then, um... She'll knock it into the hand crossbow and point yep. it into the air and fire it. Okay, so as you point it into the air you s and pull the trigger, you see that as the arrow shoots out, it catches fire. Huh. And it flies up into the air about 30 feet. Can you roll me an attack roll, please? Yeah. <laughs> uh, plus seven is 14. <sighs> you hear another um, squawk as <laughs> you oh, no. have managed to kill <laughs> another bird. <laughs> On the ground. <laughs> um, this, this one, one comes, comes up slightly, slightly charred, as, as if it had just, just been burnt. burnt. Huh. I think I'm gonna use this to hunt birds from now on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making this a thing now, just if you shoot in the air and see what bird you shoot today. <laughs> Amelia holsters the crossbow on her back, uh, in her backpack, and then, um, 
gives Immortal a thumbs up and then goes and picks up the bird and starts tearing off bits of charred bird <laughs> and just chewing on them. Um, creepy bird. <laughs> Very creepy. <laughs> what, what else are you guys wishing to? I'm assuming you've come down, down, down now, Immortal. Uh, yeah, sure. Shall we just wait by the road? Might as well. Dracus right. says, well, so, there's a well, if you want a well, you know. <laughs> well. well. <laughs> sure, let's go and investigate your fancy well. Dracus points out and he's like, well, well, well. <laughs> What do we well hear? Wait, what? <laughs> that's a, that's a, Dracus yeah, that's just shrugs. Dracus. Was there something with those berries you had? Can't. You guys ate them too, didn't you? No. Oh. Yeah, that's a giant pile of monster bed, Tim. No, I'm hitting the tree on the way down. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. I didn't eat the berries. I, I condensed uh, everything so well. Algae, algae wouldn't eat his berry that I already had, so I walked outside, yeah. shot the bird, and then cooked it. I ate that. Yep. <laughs> yep. So as you guys come to this well, um, you look into it, and you see a perfect reflection of yourself. As you look into it, the water is almost crystalline. Well, that's terrifying. You're seeing your reflection in water under the sun. Oh, is that terrifying? Mm, nothing is what it seems to you. Dracus looks at Immortel, like, and Immortel's obviously, like, you know, tussing it out, and, and Dracus is like, it, is that a portal to another world? I know you're joking, but it's very similar to the one I came here in. Uh, wait, hang on. You came here from another world too, <laughs> <What>? did you? <laughs> I don't know yet. Probably. <laughs> no, you didn't come here from another world. No, you don't know. You, you know that your teacher left through a portal from this world somewhere else. Sorry, I think I made this map a bit too dense. <laughs> We're all just <laughs> huddled around this <laughs> one corner of the world. Uh, you all look around and you see there is a very well maintained building on your right. Wait, before we stop looking at the well, I'm going to take out my staff of the adder yep. and mutter its activation word, kopesk, and the head will turn into a living snake, and I just want to kind of touch the top of the water with it. And like, yeah, you I don't know, make it do its the... weird like snake tongue thing on the water and top see of if the anything water. jumps out. Nothing happens. Suspicious. <laughs> no, not suspicious. What do you mean? Do things normally happen to wells? It Very suspicious. Well, <laughs> I hear Immortel had a well accident when he was younger. Ah, uh, yes. The old incident of help, Immortel, Immortel fell down the well. Uh oh. You don't know that story. <laughs> I know your story. I know all your stories. That's funny, because I don't know my story. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, so there's nothing suspicious about the well. Well? No, not at all. That brand is well. willing to admit. I would like to investigate it. <laughs> Thoroughly. Go for it. With my eyes. Investigate the well. Uh, it is obviously a very suspicious well. Well, that's a 10. <laughs> oh. It is a well with a source of drinkable water inside mm. of it. That's true. Have we drunk water recently? <laughs> Probably dehydration madness. <laughs> This is Matthew. This is Matthew Mercer in the fucking chair all over again. With a well. Yeah, it's a well. Should someone drink from it? Made of stone. There's a bucket you can sink into it. 
All suspicious right, well, bucket. Amelia, mm. after watching these two gawk at the well for so long, is just going to walk forward and start winding the bucket down into the well and then pull it up and then take out her cup from her mess kit and take a glass and drink it. Amazing. Hey. The look of shock and horror enters Dracus's face. Just a well. As Amelia's throat melts in front of us. <laughs> Amelia, you feel incredibly refreshed at this. Because it's water? <laughs> yeah, water. Told you, water. Can you roll me a d4, please? Oh, shit. This is how many limbs become paralyzed. <laughs> No, this is how many more limbs I grow. <laughs> okay. It's radioactive. Oh, shit. That's like one hour from now. Something bad happens. <laughs> you're just gonna, you're just gonna die. Just straight oh, up. No saves. Fuck. You just die. Fuck. <laughs> no. Um, can you add one temporary hit point? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ching. And that will last... That'll last until you next rest. You know what, guys? This this water, it's actually pretty good. Sounds like something someone that was turned evil by some water would say. <laughs> right? Someone who wants us to drink the water. Right. Nice try, Amelia. <laughs> I'm gonna um, take another cup of water and then hold it up towards the little satchel with algae in it and be like, Yeah. Algae, are you thirsty? <laughs> Yeah, you see the little dragon come out and sort of put its snout into the cup, and it drinks. Can you roll a d4 and add that to its temporary hit points to you guys' lot, to you guys' next rest? <laughs> the dragon's getting all the HP. Hell yeah, I should roll. Um... What are you rolling for, Alki? Oh, his actual hit dice, like to get his total. So I'm. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll roll that into session. session. Like you guys aren't going to come back and tell you that much. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, that you know the of. Two of you feel <laughs> right. <laughs> we can make enemies really quickly. Yeah, yeah I can see, see that. that. You're suspicious of clean, drinkable water. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's a lot of ones. Yep. Oof. He's got almost as much health as me. Which makes sense. It's a tiny baby. Yeah. <laughs> Has a good amount of HP. Yeah. Did you add the plus seven to that? Yep. Nice. Yes. So it'll be That's his base HP at the moment. Yeah. That's his size HP. And for a, you know, one two day old dragon. Yeah. yeah. Great, great. Right. Uh, so, while Immortal and Dracus are suspicious of the water. It's a good reason. <laughs> Why? What reason have I given you to not trust the water I give you? Have you seen the rest of this town? Come on. <laughs> See it. I molded it. I created it. I birthed it from my loins. Uh, Seems a bit intense. Keep, keep it, keep it PG, please. Uh, it is PG enough. Uh, PG. <laughs> Yeah, blowing plus are totally PG. Okay, we'll have What's a everyone's passive inside. deception? Like a million. Eleven. Okay, you don't see it. Deception. Fourteen. You don't see it. Emilia? Hmm? What do I What's do your passive, passive perception? perception? Oh, uh... You do see it. I done got eyes, you fool. Yeah. Uh, you see the um shed door, like 
roll open a bit. And you see something catch the corner of your eye as it darts off into the forest. Um, Amelia is going to uh, Jason. Uh, yep, yep, yep. She's just gonna. She's just gonna be like. What was that? And start running after it. Okay. How fast can you run? Mm, I can run 30 feet. Okay. For six seconds. Yeah, that's about right. Math is tricking out. Uh, so, you start running this way. And if I can, you know, get some solid footing, that'd be amazing. <laughs> Dracus grabs Immortel and he's like, that, that, that water had something in it, didn't it? The ride she's crazy. Stop <laughs> running over this We're way. Running in the forest. We should probably follow her, though. Yeah, I guess so. You run further in. And... Yeah, sorry. I made it really yes. dense. Didn't realize how dense I had made everything, guys. Uh, you run and you... Trip and fall. Ah, <laughs> nerd. <laughs> that water. Over a... <laughs> you drunk. Pull over right here. Over a couple of thick roots. And... I should probably roll damage for this, shouldn't I? It's just a d4. Nothing too fancy. Just <laughs> one damage. Probably will, actually, to get one damage. Lies. It's two damage. Which eats up your temporary hit point. Me? And yeah, you're being yeah, attacked violently by a tree. <laughs> uh, you just tripped over a root in your rush, not really paying attention to your surroundings, and you no deck slowly saving climb back up. It's very, very dense. Like I could not get enough shit in here without it all being like eight things on top of itself. Can yeah. So you stand back up. Can we try and see what Amelia is chasing? Uh, as Amelia drop like trips. Yeah. She's gonna try and like shelter the blow so that Algae isn't hurt. And then as Ooh, she like yeah. landed and she like opens up the bag to check he's okay, she's like Algae, you have wings. Chase after that thing. And it just you stares see at you. Algae <laughs> stare at you. And then stare back at the gems. Stares at you. Stares back at the gems. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> I respect I'll, that. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, give like a, oh, I should have expected that kind of sigh and then tighten the bag again and then tuck it back onto my belt and then quickly get up and start chasing after the thing again. Okay, honestly, didn't expect this to happen. <laughs> Can so we see I what guess, it is uh, or attempt to? Uh, I'll get all of you to roll a perception check with disadvantage because it's that bloody dense. Or you guys can roll a nature check. God, if I can pull you through. So, perception or nature. And then before you roll, I need to know what you guys are rolling. Oh, God. Oh, look at mine. Fuck me, I'm amazing. Holy shit. Um, Dracus doing... is blind, so it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, I'll do perception too. Which is a 23. Yep. Five. And would you get five? Wow, well, Dracus, you don't see shit. Um, what Immortel and Amelia St. Clair see? But I see better. <laughs> yes. You see this almost wool 
elvish figure running on all fours and you catch it sort of darting around through the forest and you catch glimpses of it as it's running around and then you hear a howl a second goes past another one another one and then you hear a second howl from behind you oh my god that this is a werewolf <laughs> coming from coming from the shed you guys had just run past Suspicious. So, did it look like a regular wolf or different? It looked like a wolf if it was walking on two legs. So different. <laughs> so different, yeah. So a bipedal wolf. And just for making my life slightly easier here. Oh god, where'd you guys go? Um, so I'm just gonna do this little you guys come to a small clearing. Just gonna move that other prop out of the way. And the area around you is dense forest. And you guys hear that howling once again. Let's so say you guys have let me quickly draw up the circle that you guys have around you guys of you know maneuver of actual um so you guys have about this much room of clearing before everything outside of that will be difficult to rain for you guys which will cost you 10 feet of movement every 5 feet you guys wish to move outside of that area. And whereabouts is the, the wolf? Man. I am looking it up now. Well, I mean, is it out in difficult terrain land? It is out in difficult terrain land. Are we rolling initiative? Uh, yeah, I'll get you guys to roll initiative, please. Do we want to kill it, or just leave it be? 18. Well... So, you guys, that's what you guys are fighting, but you guys can't... Well, I agree to fight it, we were just chasing it. You guys chasing it? Is it actually that big? I think you said something small ran past. <laughs> wait, wait. I still gotta scale them down, guys. Where'd you put them? I can't see them. Oh, I you took it away. I took them away. Ah. Ah. So you guys have heard that howling? I've gotta do this. Literally five seconds after he said we weren't gonna go into combat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you saw it happen. I didn't roll great. Well, we didn't say we were going to murder it in the woods. We were just chasing it. Yeah. Just saying that you've heard a how. So, Tim, Liara, Jono, and the Yuma Bob. Well, Jono rolled more than me. Oh, well. Wrecked. He rolled what? Sorry. 18. I rolled a 12. Oh, okay. Rolled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just in case. Ha! <laughs> Everybody's going before Immortal again. Not again. I usually go pretty up there. Yeah, and it doesn't matter. I don't want to go. I don't want to fight it, so I don't care. Okay, so the three of you. I should use that for if you guys you end up getting into a fight. You hear the howl around you, you hear one from behind in the shed area. 
and you guys have come to a clearing. What do you wish to do? Uh, Jackus uses grapple. Grapple? <laughs> to grapple her. Oh. What are you grappling? Oh. You can't... You can see it dying around. Well, you, you can't, can't see it. it. The, the other, other two, two can see it. It's kind of dying, dying around. And it's sort of... Going around you guys in a circle. Oh. So it's like it's stalking us. Creepy. More eyes. like on guard. <laughs> uh, well, um... Dracus is gonna hold action to... Um... Attack... No, grapple. Um... If it comes at us. Okay. And... Emilia? What do you wish to do? Can I see it? You can see it moving around you guys. It's slowly... It's wary. It's... Seeing what you guys will do, determine how it will react. If that makes sense. Like, do, I like have, do I have a direct line of sight? Uh, yes. yes. So you can so see that it is... <sighs> over here-ish. Where you guys are. So, like, that kind of line. You guys saw that? Yes. Um, so, Amelia is going to draw her uh, sidearm and point it at it. Say, yep. reveal yourself! Doesn't have to end in bloodshed. Are you saying this to be more threatening or persuasive? Mm, no, I'm kind of leaning more into the intimidation. Okay, roll me an intimidation check. Ironically, I am actually proficient in persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Twelve. Well, and I just gotta do one quick roll, guys. Oh, I thought you jump and let me die. Yeah. You have persuaded it. Or you've intimidated it. So it rolled like hot garbage. Yay! And you see a. Holy shit! <laughs> what? This is just the scale of it to us. <laughs> right. Well, I haven't. I didn't manage to scale it to the map, guys. Okay, literally. Oh, that's slightly less terrible. There you go, guys. Slightly less terrible. You see it come out just to the edge of the clearing. I'm so glad I have some like really cool minis I get to play with. And you hear it. Oh God. You hear it, yeah, you'll see it morph into a more humanoid shape, and it'll start talking to you like, whoa, 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 whoa. no one has to get hurt here. Can I make a roll to see if I know about lycanthropy? Yeah, I'll get you to roll me a... Just a straight intelligence. Add your intelligence modifier. Can we all do it, or just... Yeah, you can all do it. <laughs> I would like to know seven. as well. It's just a seven. Finally, the roll is good for you. <laughs> Sorry, my computer is... Yeah, I was gonna say, my dice is just... Standing there in space. Oh, standing there, there menacingly. Oh. Hey, you got a seven as well. Fourteen. But with my intelligence, that's still not great. Um, I will roll again. I am. I'm, I'm very intelligent. <laughs> Are you sure about he's that? He's a wizard. Yeah. That's why he's using his feet to reroll. I will reverse time and try that again. <laughs> 
she is like it was one that uh <laughs> um just intelligence or anything yeah, else just your intelligence oh, modifier 12 Okay. You, Emilio, have read books on this? And it's a little hard for you to believe. Whereas for Dracus and Immortel, you both have heard of lycanthropy before. But it's your first time ever seeing someone sorry, voluntarily shift back into a humanoid form. Wait, what is like Cantopy? Werewolf. Werewolf is a Werewolf, were tiger, uh, were bear. Okay. Were rabbit. It's a curse by which you are forced to transform into another creature. Yeah. Yes, it's great. You see Adam, you know, at the change of a mood. Yeah. Before you stands a man. Very much rugged. Very well built. Loin cloth around his pits. Keep it PG for Jono. <laughs> and he... I'm just saying no one has to get her. His next question is... When did you guys get here? Two, two days ago? Three days ago? Okay. His voice. Didn't you hear us? We were not quiet. <laughs> he says, I. I heard the mushrooms. The mushrooms, the witch ghost, the entire house that ate us. Keep in mind, where you guys are now is outside of the actual map I've built. Okay, okay, okay. You're in a small little clearing, so just outside the map, that I didn't actually account for. And... He says, yeah, I've had the mushrooms go off every night. I mean, it's nothing new. And... Well, anyway, we mean you no harm. You just gave us a bit of a startle. We will actually be leaving very shortly. He gives you a nod and says, best you get out of here soon before you get cursed as well. <laughs> Track you wouldn't happen to... Like, is that a threat? No, I think he means quite literally, will be cursed. What? And after saying that, he turns around and starts running away. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Starts... What? I just wanted to know if he knew anything about the dwarves that used to run the mines and where they may have gone, specifically the one that wrote this ledger. Or if he you have any other books you've seen. He doesn't recognize... He acknowledges what you're saying. And he says... The place was abandoned before I came here. Okay. Well... And he again reiterates... That... You really should leave before your curse. And it's at about this time you hear a horse's neigh nearby. And you get the feeling that this is your ticket out of here for now. What name is? 
Uh, they had a conversation with the werewolf saying that they need to leave before they get cursed. And you've heard a neigh and a couple of horses and a creaking wheel of a cart in the distance. Is there anything we can do to help? Yeah, I was also going to ask that. Just be like, so I'm not immortal, like, you know, do you ever need anything? <laughs> I'm sure you can find us. Here's my contact info. <laughs> right. I'll just dial my number on your phone so you have it. And before you see him turn away, Rude. and he turns his neck back over his shoulder, and he says, my name is Oren. Oren. Uh, O-R-I-N. I really suggest you leave. Will do. We'll be out of... I was going to say your hair, but that's a horrendous part. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, he changes back into a wolf and runs into the forest, leaving you exactly where you were. Um, well, I guess we probably shouldn't look in the barn then, that's probably. <laughs> Jack just kind of looks at the other two and he's like, uh, I hope you have some wilderness skills because I'm pretty sure we're lost now. I do, actually. Tortles, master race, are proficient in survival. Oh. Okay, to make a survival check oh, good. I was to just find, find your way back. Survival 22. Yeah, so you guys take a good 20 or so minutes and eventually find yourself back near Zivel. Mm -hmm. And the three of you eventually hear that horse and carriage come up. Uh, let me quickly just erase it. There we go. You see the horse and carriage come up from where it had met you guys originally. Or where it had dropped you guys off originally. Nice. Let's get out of here. Skedaddle. Do 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 sucka 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 bugada bugada ah. See the cart come up. And you guys get in, and the driver, same lovely, lovely um, halfling that you had the first time come by, says, <laughs> didn't expect to see you guys again. What happened to your friend? <laughs> um... Dracus just starts crying. <laughs> what do you mean? This is who we came with? No. <laughs> you say so. <laughs> Amelia St. Clair, it's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too, he says, with a very cheerful tone in his voice says, well, let's see you guys back, back home. Guildmaster's gonna love to hear about this. Is it just him? Uh, it's him, the two horses in front that I don't actually have. Well, I meant, like, is there, like, a few guards or whatever, or does it look like he's not worried about being attacked at all? He doesn't look very worried at all. Cool. Cool, cool. So as you guys... I'll get in. Yeah, travel was usual. A bit of a bitch to get through the forest to get here. But should be pretty easy to make our way back. Nothing too scary around these parts. Never any trouble on these roads? No, none that I've had. Well, nothing that I couldn't deal with. Fair enough. 
and he, and he like, me fast he was like where is it that we're going it fell winter yes am I going back home to fell winter little lady and like that he ushers you inside the carriage turns around and slowly takes off gradually picking up speed oh god let me just quickly give me a second wants to say that'd be bloody amazing and night comes we'll start resting in the um carriage on the way back well i mean obviously before we get back to town i would like to have a discussion with my fellow groups being like oh yeah so, i'm just laying up the map now so we should probably not tell them about the dragon Both the one in the mines and the one in your backpack. Um, why not? They could lead a subjugation um, party to deal with the dragon in the mines. I don't know. I feel like it's not really uh, hurting anyone. Oh, I guess it's not It is hurting someone. What the frick do you mean? To, to, to be fair, she had kind of had it coming. Um, she had a bit of... Mind madness going on. I think Dracus is is correct in this course of action. We should free your friend. If they're I mean, if they're willing to go back to Nevermore, they would seem pretty uh, pretty interested either way. Perhaps the dragon has something to do with the temporal rift that I passed through. Perhaps, perhaps. But if we, like we need to talk to a few more learned people here. If we kill the dragon, wouldn't that mean you'd be stuck here, if that's your line of thinking? I'm not suggesting we kill the dragon. Perhaps that, we... that's, what, that's what Dracus was suggesting. Oh, yes. I thought I and then you straight up agreed with <laughs> I thought by subjugation you simply meant to imprison the dragon. And it's, al it's already imprisoned. Forced it to obey the laws of the web. Dracus kind of shrugs. <laughs> to free your friend. Uh, good Try dragon's a dead obey. dragon, in my opinion. So, as this line of discussion obviously i want it all to be hush hush whispered so the driver doesn't yes hear. i figured you'd be doing hush hush whispered. so as this line of discussion goes on you eventually make your way to what you would know immortal and dracus is the southern entrance into fell winter you see the massive stone castle-like wall that goes around the town. Nice clear area. Um, think of... Have you guys seen, um, Disenchantment? Nope. Disenchantment? Yeah. yeah. Kind of like a castle wall like that around the town. Mm -hmm. And it's got that nice, like, heavily big archway that you go under past a couple of guards with no problems at all and just like that you guys have your carriage that has bought you guys if i can get you guys into the map that'd be brilliant Bloop. oh god if you guys need to like the wrong fucking spot go brandon you got this it's you here so the brown lines are sort of like um Marking the road. Oh, so we came in. <laughs> okay. So the, the road comes up the wall. Yeah. 
Look, I, I had to speed, speed roll this map, map right again. <laughs> uh, How much HP do you have? How much HP? Uh, 41. Loaded question. Good to know. Oh, yeah. Let's casually roll some shit. As you come in, you two see the similar sort of like arming and military area. To the right of the entrance, you see the barracks and a small little shed where there is a horse roaming around at the water trough. And to the right, there's a couple of farmhouses, 3D precise. And the road continues up. Amelia's going to lean out the, the window and speak to the cart driver. Yeah. Hey, Go for it. where is the nearest market? That would be in the middle of town next to the guild hall in the east. East part of the town. Oh, and is that where we're headed? Yes, indeed. How convenient. Is, is the market open at this late hour? Not at this hour. You guys will pretty much get back to the guild hall pretty much unscathed. Be invited in, introduce Amelia, and we'll pretty much be in a discussion first thing in the morning to discuss what had happened, organize your payment and stuff like that. Okay, so we have a night to discuss, deceiving the entire guild. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then it will pretty much be a day is yours. To sort of rest and recover and... <laughs> and escape the guild. Excellent. Yeah, but as for that, I'm going to end the session here, if that's alright with you guys. Oh, yeah, sure. Yep. That's because I got the map up to a certain point and then it erased everything. So I'm going to recap the town again. No. Also, I have work in the morning, so you know. <laughs> It's okay. Um, Amelia would uh, just fight with them. <laughs> oh, do you guys, are you guys all free on Wednesday night? Nope. Uh, yep. Depends what time. I'd say uh, Wednesday or Thursday night. I'm, I'm on early, so I can't really do nights. I get home at 2.30. Okay. I can do... Oh, yeah, what time do you finish work? Uh, I actually have Wednesday off. So let's say 4 p.m. for a long-awaited shopping trip. Yes. We'll see. Yeah, we'll be Wednesday for a shopping trip and see what you guys want to do. There's a few people you're going to be talking with in this session. Yeah, if we just do like a mini session of like, uh, um, like shopping and then, yeah, you know, deciding the fate of the guild, then that yeah, yeah that's for like playing out with everything else later. Yeah, yeah. So I was going to do the next session just sort of, sort of as like a clean-up session, session for like this yeah. small arc. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That feels good. Because yeah. then Tim and I go to Cairns next Friday when we don't come back till end of month. Mm, okay. Ah, uh, crazy. That's no, like, yeah. Fair enough. We both need a holiday. <laughs> well, I mean, you can even... <laughs> do it over Discord if it's always going to be shopping and stuff. We don't even need to tabletop. You can enjoy any sort of lab squat. 
I just wanted to have, like, you guys like, have a cool... I enjoy yeah, making them with you guys, surprisingly. Um, like that, I'm going to kick you guys out of the table. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying it, though. Yeah. 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 Sorry, I literally had to speed build this map because it's like, oh yeah, the map saved. I just, like, no, it didn't. It only saved the fucking entry. It only saved that, like, one little bit. Like, the giant tower thingy. Uh, I, uh, I made a sheet for. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, for the dragon boy? Yeah. Yeah, I will download that now and I'll send it to you. No, 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 should. no, 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 no
Yeah, just just that really. Okay. Cool, cool. But yeah, I was gonna say, you guys, you no longer have any potions, no tent, no bedroll holes. Oh. Well, I I have a bedroll with a tent. I don't you use a bedroll. Bed I just sleep in my shell. Yeah, it'd sort of be like, depending on what you guys do next, will depend on like what supplies you need to grab and stuff like that. Mm. That makes sense. And I can work that out from where you guys go and talk about stuff and do shit. But yes, I hope you guys are enjoying everything. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I don't believe it's been six sessions already. Jesus. <laughs> I'm so bloody tired. <laughs> All right, I'll wrap up the stream yeah. then. Oh, stream. Mm. All right, thanks for tuning in. Uh, next Wednesday, I guess, is a mini session of shopping and whatnot. I don't know how that'll go. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, the. So Liara's Curse of Strahd has kind of been put on hold because Liara's working weekends. So I'm not really sure what's going to be happening with that. Um, I might be doing a new session with uh, my friend Jay. Well, he's he's also like Alex's friend. Um, that group of like TeamSpeak guys. Um... I'll see if they're okay with me streaming. Like, it'll be on Roll20 or something. I'm not really familiar with it, so I'm not too sure how that'll go. But, um... Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Um, hope you all have a nice afternoon or night or morning, whatever you are. And, yeah. Goodbye. <laughs>